Do you often work with complicated mold drawings that require a lot of manual pre-processing for simulation? The tedious process of surface mesh fixing can be minimized with AutoGrid, reducing the time it takes to get your simulation started. In this video, you'll learn what problem AutoGrid was created to solve, when we should use it, what it is, and how to use it. First, let's take a look at the problem. When we're modeling the whole mold in Moldex 3D, using CAD models for everything from the clamping plates to hot runner systems and mold inserts, the pre-processing time required to get a simulation started can be quite long. This is because we often use a fine mesh for the parts and runner system to see our polymer flow related results in high resolution. But then we use a coarse mesh for mold inserts in the mold base since those elements are simply going to be used for heat transfer. This can lead to size gap errors where those different components touch and those errors do need to be fixed before a solid mesh can be generated. That can take a lot of time and effort. So, when should we use AutoGrid? AutoGrid is helpful when CAD drawings of full mold plates are imported into Studio. It allows the user to integrate the complete mold model into the simulation, but with a short model preparation time. AutoGrid can be used for line-defined coolant systems, as well as for solid models. And what exactly is AutoGrid? AutoGrid is a feature in Moldex 3D that allows the user to bypass the process of fixing surface mesh errors in the cooling system. The cooling system consists of cooling channels, mold inserts, and the mold base. Fixing errors like non-matching mesh and size gaps would be necessary if a solid mesh was going to be used. Instead, AutoGrid allows us to use voxel mesh for the cooling system. It's like filling the cooling system components with Lego bricks to mesh them. While this feature is not new, it has been improved in 2022 to streamline the pre-processing workflow. And how do we use it? In the Preferences menu, under Mesh and Control for Solid Mesh, select the Use AutoGrid Mesh and Cooling System option, as well as the Use AutoGrid Mesh and Cooling Channel option. We'll generate our mesh. Defects in the part and runner will need to be cleaned, but no size gap or non-matching mesh defects outside of these two components will need to be addressed. When AutoGrid is used, these defects in the surface mesh for a cooling system are not a problem. They will not affect the voxel mesh that is created when using AutoGrid. Once a surface mesh is created, a closed boundary defines the volume that will be partitioned, and we are good to go. The only defects that need to be fixed in the cooling system are free edges. If free edges are present, we will not have a closed surface mesh for our solver to define the volume of each component. So let's take a look at the mesh that was generated. The surface mesh on the coolant system defines the boundary of each component, which is where our solver will partition the mesh when using AutoGrid. The volume of the cooling system components that is bordered by the surface mesh will be filled with voxel mesh. This type of mesh will not be displayed, so you won't see it here, and a small amount of time will be required for it to be partitioned when the simulation begins running. So to summarize, AutoGrid is a meshing solution that Moldex 3D uses when full mold plate models are used in simulation. It helps us solve the problem of excessive pre-processing time from fixing surface mesh errors. That way, we can get our simulation started faster. This is one of many enhancements we're implementing this year to improve your simulation experience. If you enjoyed this content, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials and follow us on LinkedIn where you'll find information on training and other upcoming events.